When he appeared before me at the tower, he wasn't in his demon form like I thought he would be. He was human. It was as if he'd been reborn as he was back then. You don't seem like the type to follow orders. Was something good supposed to happen if you killed me? Regardless, you're going to have to tell me. Who sent you? I want a name. Run that by me again, kid? She can fight as a demon slayer to protect humans, was that it? You know what we call that? Completely impossible, you idiot! Sachio? <laughs> Come on, time's a wasting. You're coming, right? To Megalonia? <laughs> first things first, I'm gonna need to get some new gear. Tomorrow, I finally get to show everyone just how it is for an animal as powerful as me to exist in this world! For real? That's perfect! We should go to her house, dude! Maybe we'll find some hint that'll help us with her wish! Let's say sure. I suggest we take this opportunity to tie him up. I assume you want to keep investigating. Here we are. That's my house. This is my dad's family home. My dad used to be in a gang, so he had lots of enemies. Check that hair. But he told me everyone who vandalized and defaced the place, he took out himself. Might be a good move to throw our own first year at Tsukawa at him. Given where you are now, you should be up to the task, am I right? Fight if you must. While you may kill your captain, and another attack will do precisely that, you'll never succeed in killing me. Allow me to make a prediction. You are not going to kill me after all. Not only that, you're going to give me information before leaving this room about who's paying the Wear Tiger's bounty. Plus, once you exit, you'll prance and talk like a little rich girl. Why is that? Should I have just watched from here? See them being slaughtered? I'll help who I can. There are two things you need to know. One, there once was a woman. She believed people and clothes weren't enemies. But she was a fool. He's small. But that's just a guise. Reason and logic aren't going to apply here. I've tasted this intuition countless times now. I know. This place is like a ghost town. Only the water and electricity are still intact, right? What the hell are you talking about? I'm just out running errands and buying groceries. Uh, I'm not sure what I should say here. Impressive. I'd never have taken you for a beginner. Do you play any kind of sports? Okay, think. The canal's about 40 feet wide. That means 700 to 800 steps. No problem. I should be good for 50 feet. It's a present for you. And in exchange, I'm gonna take this one here. Beginning with Regalia, if we overpower all of Valar's previous territories, then the Alturk Lords will have no choice but to surrender. Listen, I'm well aware of the importance of the Ark and that it needs protection. However, is anything like that worth protecting if we must sacrifice someone innocent to do so? It's true that I'm not a prideful man. But what does that matter? Does it lessen the honor of heroes? <laughs> I admit you're amusing, Lancer. But success washes away dishonor. Keep your useless pride to yourself. He seems to create his own energy. He controls it with his breathing. But, lying there now, unconscious, he is as vulnerable as any other human. Cobalt, Marga. Sir! Throw him into the portal. I will let him go just this once. And now, I'm trying to save myself yet again by confessing my sins to you. Just because you look like her. Huh? Oh, hey, I've been waiting for you, kid! So, I hear you're Jean's son, right? Well, go ahead and take a seat, huh? How... how could you? How dare you? How dare you touch my wife? That's my bomb! For tonight, I have something quite special planned. Allow me to introduce to you the interloper who tried to block the true revolution. Well, if you say so, you're the director. I guess that's that then, I'm sorry. But in exchange, I'd like to add another scene, okay? I expected no less from Sinbad. I'm looking forward to crossing swords with him. 
Wait, could he have stolen the ring? Do you think it's possible he killed Grisolda after all? <clears throat> Does Grimlock want to kill the three of us because we didn't want to sell the damn ring? Is that why he's after you and me now? During a follow-up investigation, we were surprised to discover that Giovanni was the gym leader of the Viridian Gym. After he awarded badges to two trainers, he just disappeared. Is that what you're calling yourself these days? Anyone who packs a knife and can dodge my kicks ain't no civilian. Yep. Although when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Please, I need strength. Be proud, you're a tough one. Sorry, could you lead? Yeah, after seeing all this, Hifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact, he's still alive! Gonta was above stage when Piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. When Piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big thing fall into Water Tank with them. You help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence. And as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu. With good prices for a punk like you. My power with it is weaker than before. But with the right ritual, I should become a match for her. Drat. I hadn't installed the devil data yet. Well, no matter. This night will still end poorly for you. Finally, I can uncover the truth behind my greatest failure. A long and windy road it was. But perhaps my days as a back alley doctor are through. I have grown accustomed to fighting in worlds unknown. The key is maintaining an unwavering resolve. I think you stand for a good cause. But I have my own vision of peace. And that is the only thing I'll ever fight for. It's strange to say, but... It does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we knew. I'm the craftsman here. Come and see me for weapons and things. But don't think you've tasted Red Magnus' full power! The real fun super starts now! Inspiration! Perhaps that is the path destined for me! A mage! The sword shines too brightly for my dark soul. I must become a mage. I always try to fight the strongest foes I can find, but I don't try to take them on alone anymore. I was afraid I might be in trouble or something when you invited me here. Glad I was wrong. No matter what clothes I wear, my natural radiance cannot be concealed. We fangs eliminate lowlifes no matter how high their station. Yeah. Well, let's start at the beginning. Maybe there's still notes in this room with the info that Harry was gathering. All right, let's make some sparks. Gather up all the knowledge you've got and show me what you can do. I'm an officer of the Roman Empire Military Police. Just call me Euron. You can't concentrate during battle. You haven't trained hard enough. Ray, I will not forget you. Like Sheen, your spirit will live on. Live on inside my heart. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. Anything to do with iron, I do it. Making tools, repairing things. Don't lecture me on age, Dilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore... You falter. I've spent over half a year at the Academy, surrounded by some of my dearest friends. This country is every bit as important to me as Nord is. It seems as though the mission today is just the two of us. I apologize that I'm taking your valuable time for teaching. I'll endeavor to learn as much as I can. Oh, come on. He's waiting out there. We can't leave him all alone. Let's go ask Eleanor if she can calculate where he might have come down. Well, for most people, there wouldn't be. But I feel like if I joined Dorfa, I wouldn't be me anymore, you know? 
I'm totally free right now. My current lifestyle is a perfect fit for my personality. Now, get out there and execute your mission. I'm going back to the drawing board to think about where I went wrong. Don't worry. Everyone underestimates me as well. What world could you possibly defeat me? You really grind my gears. I'm going to steamroll your entire army. If you have a big mouth, you never have to worry about biting off more than you can chew, right? Until our next battle, I'll admit. You almost had me. We're done already? I should double my training. Brace yourself! Those who built the Three Kingdoms were too idealistic. We have been trapped by their dreams, and that has kept the war going.